All right, uh, good morning, gentlemen. Today is uh, Dav Kuf Tazayan, um, Seches Psachim. So as we go through the, the, the Mishnayis and the Gemara, uh, describing Leila Seder, so we got to, the, I think, the second group of a uh, uh, pair of two dots. We're talking about the Charosas. So around, I don't know, eight lines from the top, Rebbe Elozar, Barab uh, Tzadok, Oymer Mitzvah, he says, the Mitzvah, the Charosas, so my Mitzvah, is like the Gemara. Right, you guys all have it. Kuf Tazayim. So he says, my mitzvah, 116A1. Right, my mitzvah, Rabbi Levi Oimer, Zechel Tapuach. Right, uh, the remembrance of the Tapuach, the Tapuach trees. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what type of uh, apple trees there are. I guess they, they have some sort that, you know, grow in Egypt. But uh, under these uh, apple trees and the like, um, where the woman used to go ahead and give birth in private so they weren't seen. Um, and as I mentioned yesterday, the one part of the... Um, the ingredients of charosis that I knew about was the apple. So you see over here that there was zeichel tapuach, right? And the Rabbi Yechon Alma is zeichel teeth. He said, no, it, the, the, the charosis is zeichel to the mortar that was used to go ahead and 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 build uh, uh, and, and build the the you know the cities that they that the Jews were enslaved to pyramids, right? Um, and Amar Abaye Abaye says Hilkach Tzich Lekiyuve V'Tzich Lesmuche, right? Therefore, you have to go ahead and make it the charosis tart. And make it thick, right? The uh, kiyuve zechel tapuach, right? To go ahead and make a tart, zechel the tapuach, so it tastes like a, similar to an apple. To remembrance of the apple trees where the with the women, um, you know, uh, uh, showed their bravery. But zechel smuche, and also to go ahead and make it thick, zechel tit for the uh, mortar. And Tanya Kvosi the Rabbi Yechon, setavlin zechel the tevin. The spices where that they are placed in there are zechel the tevin to the straw that was put into the clay. The charos is zechel tit, and the charos itself was zechel tit. To the uh, you know to the clay and the mortar that was uh, used in Omar, Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Tzadok, Kach Hayu Aimrim, this Tage Cherech uh, Shushalayim was Aleph Harach. All right, this is what the uh, I guess the 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 the, the, the peddlers, the spice sellers used to say in Yerushalayim. He says, "Bo betelo lachem tavlo the mitzvah." Go ahead and take your spices for the mitzvah. And they called the the charos is the mitzvah. The spices, like we said, were zecher the straw that was placed inside the clay. Fine. Zuck the Mishnah. My Mishnah, Mishnah says, Mazu loy kais sheni. So we, we did the kais rishon. Um, I, I believe we, we, we discussed the, the karpas, the other bracha. So in order there's something to be puzzling to the children. The kind of ben shail. And now this is when the, the son goes ahead and asks the question, Aviv, vim ein das viven. Aviv malando. And the, the child does not know how to go ahead and ask the child. The father should go ahead and teach him. So we should say, right? Why is this night different than other nights? We need chametz, we need matzah, and tonight we only eat matzah. Right? Why is this night different than other nights? We need chametz, we need halalos, and tonight we only eat matzah. Excuse me. Tonight we all, we, um, uh, all of the nights, right? We eat whatever types of vegetables we want, you know, any salads. Tonight we have to eat maror, these uh, bitter herbs. And Shachol Shavachol Halelos Anu Eichlin Basar Tzli the Shalok Mavushal other nights we eat meat anyway why we want to roast it we want to boil it or cook it Halelos at Kuloi Tzli however tonight we only eat roasted meat Shavachol Halelos other nights Anu when you look at the Gimel as you see the gears change Anu Matvilin right we go ahead and we dip Hamachas right we dip once Halelos at Shteifamim tonight is two times and. So th those are the questions. Those are the questions the son is taught to ask by the father if he can't ask on his own. Right? And according to the, the wisdom of the son, his, his capabilities, that's how the father teaches him to go ahead and to uh, understand the differences of uh, uh, in terms of this night, why it's different than all other nights. And maskil b'genus u'masai b'shevach, right? We begin with genus. This is the, the theme of the Seder. We, we, we start with the lowliness of we were. We'll, we'll explain what is that. U'masai b'shevach. Then we end with praise. So we start from the, you know, to say how bad things were. And then we say, you know, how great things are. The Doresh. And we start darshim for, from me, uh, Arami Oved Avi by uh, Yaakovinu. When he had to go ahead and, and, and work. And he was uh, for his, uh, his father-in-law. Uh, uh, loving when he um, when he had all the uh, 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 and all that, so therefore we start from that area. To, that was the beginning of the of the suffering of, of the gunas more call parsha cool until you finish explaining the entire parsha. Fine, zok the gemara. Tanurabon chacham b'no shalom. 
if his son is wise and he asks him, Vim ain't a chacham. If he's not a chacham, he can't ask, or he's too young. Then his wife will go ahead and ask him, Vim lav. And if not, who show me out? he can even ask himself question answer. Even two Tamil Chachamim who are wise, right? They know all the halachas of Hilchas of Pesach. They don't need to be taught. They don't need to ask these questions, which they know the answers. Nevertheless, they still ask one another. <clears throat> then we said, Other than nights, we dip once, and tonight we dip twice. You know what? Every other night, you're obligated to go ahead and dip once, right? Where is this? Who says all the nights, right? You have to dip. All nights, we're not obligated to go ahead and dip uh, even once. And tonight, we're obligated to go ahead and dip twice. So there's an obligation, right? There's a chiyuf, quote unquote, a chiyuf on us in order for the children to go ahead and say, hey, something is fishy tonight, right? It doesn't make sense. There's a chiyuf. Other nights we don't even have to go ahead and once. And right? Other nights we don't dip, right? Not even once. And tonight we dip twice. In other words, it's not saying it's a chiyuv, it's just saying we dip twice, as opposed to saying it's a chiyuv, because that was what uh, Rav Safra took exception to. And then the, the Mishnah says, So my genus, what is this? The, the, what, what is the bad part that we start with? So Rav Omar. In the beginning, right, our forefathers, they were idol worshippers. That's the, the lowliness. We were slaves, right? You see, the, the slavery, that was the, the lowly part. And then we were you know, taken out with freedom. And Amr Lay Rav Nachman, the Daru Avde, so Rav Nachman said to Daru, his, his servant, So Avda, the Mapikle Mare, the Cheros, the Yavle Castle, the Dafa, my boy, the So he said to his, his servant, Daru, if a slave, who is freed by his master to freedom, and he gives him silver and gold. So what should he do, right? What would be the appropriate response for the for the Evan? He should thank him, right? He should praise him. Right? So you basically, you've exempted yourself from saying Manishtana. Basically, you have said, you know, the essence, right? You have said the essence of the Seder is, which is, that from right, you 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 thank for you know you recognize where the lowliness was and you praise then to where uh, you now were, and pasach then they're able to go ahead and start from avadim hayino to basically start the they they're putter from the saying the the sibri says and then they started with the answer of avadim hayino. Um, some have said this gemara is missing some of the gears, so uh, fine. Uh, all right, fine, very good. Naya Mishnah. So the Mishnah says two lines from the bottom on Kuf Tezayin Madalaf. Rabbi Gamliel, Haya Aimeh, Rabbi Gamliel would say, Kol Shaloi Amar Shleisha Dvarim Elu Bepesach Lo Yatsa Yidei Chavasa. Said Rabbi Gamliel, whoever did not say these three things, mention these things on Leil Seder, has not fulfilled their obligation. Ve'elu Hain of the Yisrael, Pesach, Umatzo, Umar. This is Pesach, the Karim Pesach, Matzo Mor. So Pesach al Shuma, uh, what was the reason for Pesach? She Pesach Hamakom al Bote Avasenu the Mitzrayim. Right, it works out actually well. I always, you know, you know, wonder the word Pesach, right, means to pass over, and Pesach is Passover, right? Passover is not just a like an English word like for Pesach, right? It means that's the translation, right, of the word, right? So it says. The, why? Why Pesach? Because Hakadosh Baruch he, he passed over upon the houses of, of Mitzrayim and he took them out. That he, you know, he he went to the other, you know, the, the firstborns of the uh, uh, you know of the Egyptians and killed them, as opposed to Bnei Israel, and he passed over them and then took them out. Right? And Matzah. What about Matzah? So it says over there, because we were redeemed uh, in Mitzrayim, and then they baked the bread to go ahead and leave, and they didn't have enough time for it to, to rise. And therefore, so the matzah is al-shum, that the, the, the Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim itself, and moror, and why moror, al-shum shamor ha-mitzvah is chayi avasein Mitzrayim, because the Egyptians made our life bitter. Shinamar, as the Pasuk says, 
by Meruas Chayeim, right? And they made their lives bitter. Every generation, a person should see that he himself as if he was the one who left Mitzrayim. Shinamar, as the Pasuk says, right? you, as you told over to your son uh, on that day, and that day referring to the day, the commemoration of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, Bavur Zeh, right? He calls it Zeh, this, right? Bavur Zeh, Asas Shem Li, right? He does it to me. Right, me. So therefore, you have to see yourself as if you left Mitzrayim, right? I saw Hashem leave. It says Mitzrayim, <clears throat> and when I, uh, so you know, He took me out. So therefore, when you're obligated to go ahead and describe being taken out of Egypt, right, you describe it to your son as you yourself were taken out. Lefichach. Therefore, Anachno Chayovim Lahodos. Therefore, we have to go ahead and thank Lahalo and praise the Shevach. Also, the form of praise the fire to to glorify the remote the Romi to exalt the Hader. Right uh, uh, to to hither right to go ahead and uh, also another form of praise right um, to, to 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 give honor right levarich to bless laale right or to elevate lekalis lemisha also lavasein alano es kol hanisa meila who you know and praise who did all perform all these miracles on our behalf. Um uh uh Lano uh Lava Sid to our forefathers and Lanas and Isma Elo, Hot Siana we have this he took it out, took us out from uh uh servitude to freedom, Miyagul Nasimcha from sorrow to happiness, may Ovil from um uh mourning, Liyamtov to 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 celebration, may a fellow uh godal from uh darkness to great light, Mashibu the Gula, and from servitude to uh redemption. Venamar the fun of Haluka. And then we say, uh, uh, we say, Haluka ad heichan. So till where? Where do we say the Hallel, right? So ad heichan, who I So be shami yomim ad ema bonim smecha. Hallelujah, right? So until for the Pasuk, uh, the, the first paragraph, we say the first paragraph according to be shami, be shalomim ad chalomi shlomayno mayim. Right? He says, no, you say the second paragraph, right? So you know, be shami says, you say the first paragraph of Hallel at, at this point, at this juncture. Be uh, Hill says, you say the second, uh, the first two. The chaisem, the geula, and then you uh, finish off with the geula. You finish off uh, uh, praising the, uh, I guess the, uh, the the redemption, right? Remember Tarfon Oimer, Asher Galana v'Galas Avsein Mitzrayim v'Loya Chaisem, right? So he says uh, they would say that which he redeemed us and our forefathers from Mitzrayim, but he would not do a chasima. He would not have a bracha at the end. However, Rabbi Kiva Oimer he says no, you would. Um, Right, so the Hashem, all right, our, our fathers and the fathers of uh, our forefathers again, the Moadim, the Regal Macher, let them go ahead and bring us to other holidays and celebrations. Haboyim the Kaseinu, the Shalom, Smechim, right, and bring us in peace and Smechim and happiness. Bevinia to the to the rebuilding or the building of your your city. The Sasim Bevarusecha, and we'll be happy with. The, you know, with the with our serving you, Venachal Sham, the Gimel, Venachal Sham, we'll eat over there. Mean as Vachim, we have Sachim from the sacrifices of the Karm Pesach, Ad Bracha Da Hashem, Gaal Yisrael. Until the end, you say right this until Gaal Yisrael. So in other words, this is the Bracha, the Chasima, the end, the Bracha that you say after the first two paragraphs, which we are noheg in our uh, Haggadahs. Fine. Zok the Gemara, Omar Rava, uh, the fifth wide line. Sarich Shayamar Vosanu Hotsi Misha. Right. You should say, and we were taken out from there, um, as we saw earlier, because it says uh 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 Sashem Li Vitesi they did to me. And Amar Rava, Matzah Tsechlak Bia, Matza, you should raise. What is obligated to go ahead and raise the Seder? Moror, Sarich Lag Bia, Moror, you should go ahead and raise. However, Bosar. But the basar ain't uh ain't not circle uh ain't not You don't have to go ahead and uh, raise the basar, right? The the meat that uh, we said there's two uh, two cooked foods there, right? One of which right is the basar. So you don't raise the basar. Oh, not only that, Ella Shanira Kaiko Kachim Bakus. Actually, it's a bad thing to raise, right? Because it looks like you're making a kach, you're making a hek dish, and therefore in catch and kachim or asar uh chutzla mikdash. And uh shalim in the case of the current pasak. And Amar of Acha Bar Yaakov Suma. Potter mi leimar hagada. A blind person is potter from saying hagada. Why? Ksiv hachet says over here above or zet. It says over here like we brought the pasuk above or zet. Shemlis says he used the word zet. 
right? You can see, Hosman says over there by Ben Saramara, it says, B'nei Zep, right? I, this, our son, right? B'nei Zep, right? So the Xer Shav, the same term, Zeh, is used by the Haggadah, same Haggadah, and same year, also by Ben Saramara. And Malahol and Pajal Asuma, just like over there, there's a lot of exceptions to the rule. Ben Saramara, Ben Saramara basically is a, a wayward son, right? Who, who's not, who shows signs of a very, uh, of, of, a very destructive behavior by the age of 12, 12, 13. And therefore, um, you know, um, and, and you know, then they would, they would put the child to death, right? But it has to be a very specific case, right? The Gemara Sanhedrin, eighth parak. But one of the exemptions is the, the, the mother has to sound like the father. There's a whole different thing over there. But one of which is it says, Zev, our son. So Zev sounds like this, like that you're, you're pointing to, that you see. So we exclude if the father or the one of the mother is blind, then they're putter. Then the, you can't kill a ben saramara. He's putter from the pasuk because the parents are one of the parents are blind because you can't say ben Zeh, You can't say this one because you can't see him. So just like over there in the case of ben saramara, the, the if a parent is blind, afkan soto over here, proud assuming soto over here by hagada. If one is blind, then if he's putter, say hagada. We learn from there. So any is true. Either Rabban they asked the house of Rav Yosef, who was also blind. Him and Rav Sheshes were blind. We'll see. Man, do I go to the Rav Yosef, who was the one who said the Haggadah over in the night at the house of Rav Yosef? So I'm Rav Yosef. They said Rav Yosef. And man, do I go to the Rav Sheshes, who was the one who said the Haggadah in the house of Rav Sheshes? Amru, they said Rav Sheshes. It says Rav Sheshes. So what do you see over there? So you see that blind people. We're doing it. How could they do it? How could they be yates the other people by saying that I got him? So our answer is Savi Rabban and Matzikus Banan says the Rabban. So they held that Matzikus Banan says the Rabban. Therefore, since their obligation is only the Rabban and the obligation of the people to the, the Matzah is only the Rabban, as we'll see later on. So therefore, that's the reason why the blind person is able to go ahead and most of the others. So Michal the Ravacha by Yaakov Savi Mitzah Banan says the Raisa. Are you telling me that Rav Yaakov or Yaakov hold that now Mitzvah, you know, he has to kasha. So Matzah B'zana says, Deraisa, Vo Rav Yaakov or Yaakov, Hu Domer, Matzah B'zana says, Derabonin. It's only Derabonin. So the more answers, no. Ksavar Kol Tzik and Derabonin, Ain Deraisa Tzik. Anything that even though it's Derabonin, they made it like the Deraisa. So therefore, since they made it like the Deraisa, therefore someone's only obligated Derabonin, cannot go ahead and exempt or be mighty somebody who is only a Derabonin. And Rav Sheshes, Rav Yosef, Nami, I, but so if that's the case, Rav Sheshes, Rav Yosef, Nami, Havad, I called the Tikkun Rabbanu, came the Raisa Tikkun. So if that's the case, so if the Rabbanu were Masakin to do something, it should be like a Deraisa. So they shouldn't be able to be most the other people. So Haki Ashta. So the Gorah says, really, it's not a good comparison. You can't say blind people, I mean, Potter from, from learning from Ben Saramara. Why? It could have said over there, our, you know, our son. And it said, this son sounds like it's, it goes out of the way to say, to tell you, you have to see it. So, and therefore, over there, probably we exclude if one of the parents are blind. Who do also? That's the reason I came. Well, how over here? If we didn't say, right? My lichta, what should have said? It should have said, right? Is it is extra wording? So, zeh is an easier way to go ahead and say it. And therefore, it, it's not like it's going out of the way in order to make a gzair shovel. I just want to go a little farther because I see tomorrow's uh, long. Therefore, we are obligated to go ahead and say all these different uh, halals and tishbachos and praises for Hashem. So turn the page on the top. So Amar Rav Chiz, the Amar Rav Yechanan says, Rav Chiz and Rav Yechanan will just discuss the first topic. So it says, uh, ha, um, I'm not even sure how to say it, but it, actually it's on the Pasuk that we'll see how to say it, right? Haluka, right? Haluya v'kasya v'yedidya achasi, right? The words, haluya v'kasya v'yedidya, right? The word, you know, uh, uh, halal is like to praise, right? And kasyas would be like the seat of Hashem, or vididya, basically the, the, the one who's uh, beloved, right? Is one word. It's not halu and ka, and which is shem Hashem, right? Yud and he is shem Hashem, right? Rather, it's one word, right? And therefore, if it's one word, you can say halluya, right? It's one word, right? And Rav, ah, Rav, um, Rav says kasya merchav achasi. So he, he agrees. He says haluka. He doesn't mention haluka at all, right? He just says, right? Those are one word, but 
you know, Haluka is not. That's two words. That's Hal, uh, Halu and Hashem, right? And Rab Omar, Mechavia uh, Bilvad. So, uh, and so he says, not Mechavia, which is like expands, expands also is the, that's the only one. That's one word. All the others are two words. See, Bolu, Merchav, Ka Le Rav Chizda Mai. So Merchav, Ka Le Rav Chizda Dimension, right? Rav Chizda mentioned only the first three. He didn't, he didn't include uh, Merchav. So what, what's Allah Chazah? So take you, we don't know what Rav Chizda would say to that. Iboilu, Yedidya Le Rav Mai. What about Yedidya according to Rav, right? Rav, who second, who excluded that. He only said, Kaseo Merchav Yo, right? Didn't mention Yedidya. So what is he all by that? So Tashrak, and listen, Dama Rav. Rav says, Yedidya Nechlak Lishnayim, right? Yidah really means beloved of Hashem. It's really two words. The fichach yidud chol, right? The word yidid is chol, right? Is is not a, a holy name. Is a, a, a name of chol, right? And ka is kodesh, and ka is shem Hashem is kodesh. So what about haluka l'rav mai? What about haluka according to Rav? Because Rav only says right kasya umerchavia is those are each one word, but he didn't mention the word right haluka. So Tashma, come listen. Doma Rab Chazinan Tile Debe Chaviva. Right? I saw the Sefer Tehillim of uh, of Chaviva of the house of Chaviva, which is a Reb Chia, his uncle. So the Chzibu Halu Bechad Gisa, the Ka Bechad Gisa. Right? He saw it was on two different sides, and basically the word was split up. So obviously it's considered to be two words. Halu Ka, praise Hashem. Upligi Rabbi Shimon Levi, Arzdi Shimon Levi, Rabbi Shimon Levi, my Halu Ka. Rahalu bihilulim harbe means it's one it's one word it doesn't it's not Shem Hashem it means to be praise with the highest praises. Actually, it's a steer in Rabbi Shimon Levi. Why? Rabbi Shimon Levi. Right, there were there are ten different styles of praise, ten different ways of praising Hashem and Sefer Tilim. Be in uh, right? Uh, so like Lamnatzeach, right? Benitzuch is one, right? Benigun, Maskil. Mizmor, Shir, Ashrei, Betihilo, Betfilo, Bahoda, and Bahaluka. Right? And God Mekulan Haluka. The Haluka is the highest level of praise uh, of Sinat Hashem. Shekolo Shem Veshevach Vivasachas. Because that includes both praising and Shem Hashem in one. That's the one is the Shem Hashem and also in it. And therefore, that's the highest level of praise. And therefore, according to this, it would actually be two words because it, it's the one word made of halu and ka, and therefore it would be shem Hashem, and we will uh, stop over here. All right, shkayach, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day. And Hashem, we will continue from here uh, tomorrow. Shkayach. Yes,